I'm Jo, I'm a percussionist and this is the seventh in a series of spoon playing videos that I'm putting out throughout June. The first four videos focus on different techniques and the grip and the second four videos are just ideas really of how you could put together those techniques to create some rhythmic patterns. So if you haven't played before and you haven't seen the first four videos it might be an idea to have a look just so that you've got the basics. So far all the rhythms that we've done have been really in 4-4 four, four time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 at various different speeds. So I thought today we'd look at some rhythms in 3 time. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Again we can do these at various speeds. So we're going to look at three very short rhythms all in 3-4 time. If there are several of you playing together they will fit together. So it'd be quite nice if, you, if you've got a group of you that can all play at the same time, each with different rhythms. So you're layering different patterns. The rhythm one is going to start like this. Leg, leg, and leg, leg, and one, two, three, a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you want to put the roll at the beginning, that would be really good. So remember the roll down your fingers. One, two, three, one. If you want to stamp your foot on one, that would be great. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So our second rhythm starts with our roll again onto our leg. As we get to the end of the roll, we push our hand over with our spoons. So we can go roll onto our leg and then we're going to go leg hand. So roll, leg hand. Roll leg hand, roll leg hand, roll leg hand. And then we're going to miss the next beat which would have been on our legs and we're going to play on our hand again and then back to our leg. So it's going to go roll leg hand and leg. Roll leg hand and leg. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so it's a little bit trickier that one. And then we're just going to put two more beats on the end, just on our hand, just to finish it off. So we've got one, two, three, three and one. with that you could move across to your other leg for the second part. The third rhythm is going to use the triplet. Do you remember that one? I'll go over that slowly just very quickly. So first beat on the edge of your hand slide off onto your leg as you slide off push your hand over so you can play from underneath and then push your hand back over and land on your palm for the one again so one two three one one two three one i go over this a lot slower in one of the previous videos so we're going to go and then put another beat on the end. So one and a two, three. Let's try that. One and a two, three. 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 
And then we're going to add another one, two, three on the end, which is almost the same, but we'll just leave off the last beat. So we're going to go one and a two, three, one and a two, one and a two, three, one and a two. So the third beat is silent the second time round. So we've got three rhythms. You can just choose to play one of them if you want, or you could move from one to the next. They should all fit together. Or if there are more than one of you playing at the same time, you can layer them up. So you can have a group of people each playing a different rhythm. So quick reminder of the three rhythms. First one. One, two, three, one. Second rhythm. If you want the harder version, you can go across your leg. Or miss the roll out. So just without the roll if you want an easier version. And then the third rhythm, using that triplet figure. So I'm going to play from rhythm one into rhythm two into rhythm three. We'll keep it quite steady for a minute. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we'll change to rhythm two. Here we go. Into rhythm three. Here we go. Back to rhythm one. So if you want to stay on rhythm one, that's absolutely fine. And I'll go into rhythm two and rhythm three across it. So rhythm two. So if you want a bit more of a challenge, we could try it a little bit faster. Let's have a go. Uh, one, two, three, two, two, three. Rhythm two. ideas of how you could create your own rhythmic patterns using these various techniques. If you're not sure about the techniques, have a look back at videos one to four and I go through the techniques very slowly there and you can make up your own patterns, okay? So just these are just suggestions. There's one more video coming up, video number eight, that will be the last one. Thanks very much for watching, bye!